If you present on Zoom or you do webinars and you're using your built-in webcam, your audience, they aren't likely seeing the best you. You could do so much better without spending a lot on fancy cameras or getting technical. You can actually use the phone in your pocket and the quality, well, it's not bad. Maybe not on quite on par with a DSLR camera like what I'm using at the moment, but it's not that far off and it's a whole lot better than one of those crappy clip-on webcams. And of course, if you've already if you've already got a phone, which most people do, you've got a very capable camera that you can use on Zoom. Now, before I show you how to do this, if you really want your videos to look, well, to look like this, it ain't that hard, if you know how. So what I've done, I've documented everything in a guide and I've given you lots of tips, tricks, things I've learned over doing this for like 20 years. And it's free. I'll put a link below. Anyway, to use your phone as a camera in Zoom, we're going to need a couple of items. We're going to need a way to connect your phone to your computer. There are a few ways that we can, we can do this. A quick way, which still gives you decent quality video, or a more, a more complex way. The complex way, and while this does give you more control and better quality, you've got to use an adapter like this. This allows you to connect an HDMI cable to your phone. You'd plug this into your phone and then you'd plug an HDMI cable into the adapter. And then you'd plug the HDMI cable into an HDMI to USB converter like this Elgato Cam Link. You then plug this into your computer and now your phone will show up as a webcam in Zoom. You could even take this one step further and use eCam. Your camera is coming into eCam and then you'd set eCam up as a virtual mic and then you'd feed that into Zoom. And this is actually how I normally do it. And this is all well and good. And yes, this will give you the best quality. And it'll also give you a lot of flexibility. But the whole point of this video is to give you a cheap and easy solution to get you to level up your Zoom meetings quickly, cheaply, and with a minimum of complexity. And that brings me to the, the quick solution. But before I show you the quick way, if you're getting value from this video, hit the like button maybe even the subscribe button too. Anyway, here's the quick way to do it. There's an app called Shoot, and I'll put a link below. But basically, what this app does is it allows you to use the phone in your camera without having all those icons appear on screen like this. But there's a couple of things that we need to do to get this to work. You need to connect your phone to your computer. And I've got my phone connected at the minute, there we go, via US a USB cable. But you could if you wanted, in fact, and I'll just switch that back. You could if you wanted, you could use AirPlay. But if you want stability, you're going to be far better off using a cable. So my phone's connected via USB and I've downloaded the Shoot app. If I open it, the first thing I get is a warning to prevent notifications popping up. I'm going to swipe here, down from the top on the right. I want focus and then I want to turn on Do Not Disturb. I'm going to come back into the app and something else that I want to change are these black bars at the side. If I come over here in the app, if I come to this little gear wheel and I select that and then if I go to settings and then scroll down and I want fill entire sc screen, I'll select that, then close the settings down and there we go, the black bars have now gone. Okay, so now the phone is set up as a camera. All we've got to do now is set this camera up in Zoom. Now with Zoom open, if I come up to preferences, open that and then come across to video. And then here under camera, you'd expect to see the camera in the list, but you won't. Shoot doesn't work like that. What you have to do, and it's actually really easy. So I've got Zoom open. I'm going to start a new meeting. Join with computer audio as I normally would. I'm going to select share screen. And then we want iPhone stroke iPad via cable and then click share. And there we go. My phone is now a camera in Zoom. That's how easy it is. I'll just switch back to my normal camera so you can compare the quality difference. And in fact, if I just switch back to the phone now, which I've now positioned over there, you can see the quality, it's, it's not bad. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just split the screen. So there you go. You can see them side by side, give you a better comparison. Now, I'm not trying to say that the phone is as good as my dedicated camera, but remember, in fairness to the phone, my lighting and 
all the settings on the camera. These have been dialed in just for this camera, just for this setup. I've literally just thrown my phone in and I've, I've made a few minor adjustments, but nothing great. But it's still a whole lot better than one of those built-in webcams. That's how easy it is to use your phone as a camera in Zoom. Now, if you've got value from this lesson, give it a like, maybe even subscribe. But thanks for watching. Until next time, bye for now.